Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, it is Sunday morning, and it is the, I think it's like the 18th or something, or 17th, yes, yeah, the 17th of March. I don't keep up with dates because dates are not important. I don't even keep up with years because years are not important. Ladies and gentlemen, I just keep up with today because that's what's important. Worrying about yesterday, worrying about tomorrow doesn't help anybody. I can tell you that there are things that will happen tomorrow, but I don't care about tomorrow. I honestly do not care about tomorrow, and you shouldn't be either. You should focus on today because you can't control tomorrow. You can't control what's going to happen tomorrow. Yes, you can make plans for tomorrow, and nobody's telling anybody not to make plans. But what we're saying is don't put all of your eggs in that basket. Because I promise you, something is going to happen tomorrow that you didn't plan for. Whether it be good or bad, but something is going to change your plans. It's going to delay it. It's going to offset it. Well, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, so why worry? Now, I'm going to play this right here. It's called, Where Do We Find Disillusionment? Or The Piece of Disillusionment. One second. Oh, I finally found my way Seeing where I want to go Why the world moves down that destructive path I'm gonna head in the opposite direction I'm gonna head to a different life I'm gonna choose not to be part of the collective I'm gonna remain dead, I can't stand I know the person I don't want to be I know I have living free will That I can make the choice I don't get to do whatever I want to Because it always will And I gotta continue Now let me show you something about this, ladies and gentlemen I can continue from here Or I can continue from here I'm going to choose this one. Let me stop them. I'm going to choose this one. I want to continue from this song. So I can bring this down here. I can go here. And I can hit continue song. Or by bringing it lower because my screen resolution is so high. I can go get whole song. I don't want to get whole song. So I have to do it here so I can see the whole screen. I'm going to get the continue from here. Now, what I've done, now I'm doing this to let you guys know that whichever one I continue from, that's the style it's going to continue from. I just learned that this morning. So I'm going to choose this one. I don't know what this one sounds like, but I like the way this one ended. Okay? So I want it to continue from there. So this is what I was going to do. I'm going to go up here. I already picked Dreamy Blues because I've always wanted blues songs. I like blues. Okay? I like blues. I've always... Dun, 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 what, you thought that Al Green was singing R&B? Love and Happiness is a blues song, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wait a minute. Something's going wrong. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to click Let It Generate Lyrics. Now, normally, it's going to pick the theme, and it's going to pick something stupid, and it keeps doing that. I don't want that to be the theme. So I have been putting in my own words. So let me tell you, let me do something right here. This is gonna, we're gonna take care of the verse, okay? Wake up. Sometimes the day begins, comma. Sometimes the night begins, the day, comma. Tomorrow can bring about tomorrow, comma, but tomorrow could never bring about, comma, yesterday. We see the skies filled with Dreams never realized, comma, 
In a world of ignorance, comma, the masses are hypnotized, comma, in a world of idiocracies, comma, Stop listening. Yes, idiotocracies, because we got a lot of idiots, and it's a society. Hold on. Wake up. Wake up. Is there ever a wonder, comma, how we came to be? Dreaming of yesterday doesn't change today, comma. Hoping for tomorrow, comma, doesn't get us through the present, comma. If we could see the suffering, comma, if we could see the pain, comma, we would never allow the seventh divided by ten to ever happen again, comma, but that's not the way of the world. Comma, that's not the world of mankind. Comma, we live in a world of vision impaired, impairment of the heart. of the blind leading the blind. Does anybody know what I'm saying, comma? Is there anybody who hears me, comma? We live in a state of disillusionment, comma? We live in a state of stupidity, period. A state of confusion, comma, the world is confused, comma, in the present system, comma, system, comma, we lose. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, that's error letting me know that I reached the end because I went too far with my words. But that's what I just created. Now, let's let's see, because those of you who are going to use this software, you're going to need to know. So I make sure that the title is what I want, not what it wants. I make sure I continue with the style I want. I can change this if I want, but I choose not to. I've already did two forms of blues, so you'll see. Well, I'll see, because I ain't going to let y'all listen to it. It ain't for y'all. It's for me. Then, for nine minutes, I'm showing you how to use Suno.ai. And for about eight minutes after that, we're going to talk about the different programs. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I told everybody about the new, new, new program we're going to be creating at SACOM. SACOM is a trust organization. We create trust at SACOM, the Securities Acquisition Trust Commission. Eventually, people are going to realize that. Now, 
the new trust, the micro trust. Now I call it the micro trust because I created the micro trust. Please understand the original micro trust. And I just wish the people who are in the secure and one's property program, I wish they would realize what they have because to this day, they don't realize that that micro trust protects all of their property. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to have, it's called estate planning. And estate planning, they got these idiots called lawyers who are the only ones who can deal with estate planning. I, I, I was doing my own word. Uh, e S T A T E P L A. See, look at that. N N I N G. And I want costs. There we go. That's what I want right there. I want estate planning costs. Ladies and gentlemen, please note that the fees can range between. Now, these are just fees, not the actual costs. $1,000 to $3,000. You guys are receiving a trust. Now, hold on. Compare this trust with these little mediocre trusts that these attorneys are putting together that doesn't really protect you. Not only are you receiving a trust, but you're receiving a tax exempt trust. Now, hold on. Be, bear with me. Not only are you going to receive a tax exempt trust, but you can label it how you want. You can use this trust to create another trust, Mega or micro and incorporate everything into it. However, pay attention. We're not gonna tell you everything we're doing. You're not gonna see everything we're doing because we're gonna give you the micro trust that's gonna be directly associated with the mega trust. Pay attention, the mega trust allows you to be the trustee. Pay attention of your micro trust and the beneficiary of your micro trust. The mega trust is the grantor of your micro trust. Now, why is that? That gives you the right to be the trustee and beneficiary. You control the trust. You control the trust. The grantor is giving you that authority over your own property. But I can't give this up myself because... Shut up. Because you don't understand trust law. You don't understand trust law. That's why they will require you to have someone else who is the grantor, the beneficiary, the trustee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. This is New York. Yeah, 3000 the fees can be from 3000 to 8000 if you want a trust plan. Why do you have to pay that much money for a trust? $8,000? Again, the people who are part of the Securing One's Property Program don't realize what they got. Lord have mercy. And that was the creation of the micro trust, making them the trustee and beneficiary. The new program, hold on. <laughs> the new program. Oh, wait, look. The low end for a simple lawyer. <laughs> It's around $300. But you know, did you hear this? The low end, this is not all. This is the lawyers. The low end for a simple lawyer to write you a will or a trust is $300. That's the low end. So why would the same document, a trust for me, cost me $8,000? Why would a document, pay attention, why would a document cost me $8,000? Well, it's because of the different things that the lawyer... Well, 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 shouldn't the original lawyer have given me the same protections as the expensive lawyer? There are certain things that goes into trust. That's why you guys won't see the mega trust. Nobody gets to see the mega trust ever, ever. Cannot even be compelled to show it in court. The mega trust is nobody's business. That's 100% private. But not only do we create that mega trust for you, but we also create your nonprofit religious organization so that you are protected. Why? Because right now you don't have those protections. Right now you can be attacked and suffer the consequences. Well, why not take all of that attacking and funnel the energy back to the trust where they have to deal with the trust, where the trust allows you as trustee to operate as an attorney. You see, the courts have held that trust must be represented by an attorney. That's not a law. 
That's a stupid rule of a court. The courts don't get to change grandfathered positions. Okay, the court doesn't get to say, oh no, you need an attorney. Why? So that you can rob me blind with these fees and these charges and these attorneys, blah, blah. So, ladies and gentlemen, our job is to change the game. That's going to be a SACOM program. You cannot contact SACOM at this time. This was my idea. I'm donating it to SACOM. Originally, the Secure One's Property program was an Eon Foundation program. And again, we will update those members exactly as to what their program will do for them. For right now, the rest of you. The new program won't be starting anytime soon. Got to create the microtrust for that program. It is not. This is why attorneys charge. Because putting a trust together is not a walk in a park. You can't just take a template and multiply it by a group of people. However, the way the microtrust is, it's universal. Be used by everybody because it protects the same interests of the grant or the beneficiary. You! Your property. Your assets. Now, as I take you guys out of here, because that's what I wanted to talk about at the end of this video. I'm sorry, we got to go back here. Give me one second. Y'all don't mind, do y'all? We're going to play that song I just talked about. Hold on. Sometimes the night begins the day. Tomorrow can bring about tomorrow. But tomorrow could never bring about yesterday. We see the skies filled with dreams never reach. In a world of ignorance, the masses are hypnotized. In a world of idiotocracies. Now, if y'all really want to know, that's the type of music I prefer to listen to. See the beat, the melody, the mellowness of it? That's me. I could listen to that all day and playing in the background. That's what I'm getting ready to do for myself. I made it public. Okay, oh, no, I haven't made it public, public. Pay attention. I'm going to, uh-oh, got to go here. Apologize. We're going to get a whole song. Okay, that's the first one. Now I'm going to play the second version of that same song. Sometimes the day begins. Now, see, I like this one better. You see the up beat tempo? Okay. Hey. I like it, y'all. Because sometimes the day begins. Okay. The second one I like as well. I like both of them, honestly. But I'm definitely going to be keeping both of them. If only you guys could know the things that are getting ready to be done to help you out. So that these idiots will stop taking advantage of you. Because that's what you're going through right now. Everybody wants to take advantage of everyone else. Everybody wants to take advantage of everyone else. I'm going to stop them. And there's no need for people to be taking advantage of anyone. Our world, the world that we live in. This is our fault. That's what this song is about. Where to find peace of disillusionment. Everybody wants to talk about how we're all unified and if we come together, we can bring about peace and harmony. That's a lie. We can never come together. The stupidity of diversity is what keeps us apart. We were supposed to be different. We were not all supposed to be the same. So when you hear people talking about we're all the same, that's a lie. Humans were not supposed to all be the same. That's why we come in different shapes, sizes, colors. That is the truth about being human, is being different. We're allowed to be different. Now, hold on. I am not talking that junk that people talk about. We get to choose what we want to do at our body. It's not ours. It never was ours. We didn't create ourselves, and if we did create ourselves, then we would have control. Everybody wants to talk about free will. Free will is not free. Free will is not free. 
It comes with consequences, people. It's not free. So that's why you have limited free will. It's like power of attorney. You don't ever want to give anybody full power of attorney, so why would God give you full power of attorney? <laughs> that would make no sense. Then that means you can do whatever you want. So then why could he get mad? How could he get mad? How could he get mad? Pay attention, people. How could he get mad if he gave you free will and you did something because you chose to do so? How could he get mad? But then, that's what Paul says. Go ahead and read it for yourself. Book of Hebrews, the ninth chapter. How can he get indignant with any of us if he gave us free will? Because he didn't give us free will. He gave us limited free will. If you don't believe me, hold on. This is the last thing I'm going to show you, then I'm going to go on about my business. It is my business that I'm going to go on about. Oh, come on, stop it. Hold on one, y'all. I said Hebrews, the ninth chapter. I'm sorry, it's Romans, the ninth chapter, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Romans, the ninth chapter. Why? Why Romans? Well, because he was talking about two characters, two individuals, and he talks about them by saying this. Not only then, but also when Rebekah conceived two twins from one man, Isaac, our forefather. For when they were not yet even born, I added the word even, and had not practiced anything good or bad, so that God's purpose respecting the choosing might continue dependent not on works, but on the one who calls. See, he reserved that right to himself. It was said to her, the older will be the slave of the younger. Just as it is written, I love Jacob, but Esau I hated. Before it was even a reality, before they were even born, he said, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated before they were even born. So guess what Paul asked next? What are we to say then? Is there injustice with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will show mercy upon whomever I show mercy. Or I will show mercy to whomever I will show mercy. And I will show compassion to whomever. I will show compassion. So then it doesn't depend on you. Or as he says, for then it depends not on the person's desires or on his efforts. I got free will. I don't want to do. No, it doesn't depend on you, but on God who has mercy. For as the scriptures say to Pharaoh, for this reason I let you remain, to show you my power in connection with you. And to have my name declared in all the earth. He didn't say names. He said singular. My name declared in all the earth. Everybody knows the story of Pharaoh. Let my people go. So then, he has mercy on whomever he wishes. And he lets whomever he wishes become obstinate. The people who think that they got the right to do whatever they want. Well, I get to choose what I want to do in my own body. He lets you continue to think that and continue to do that. He's not going to stop you. Well, I mean, he eventually is going to correct everything, but he's going to let you do that. Like I said, it's limited free will. Why? For who has withstood his will? No one. Because people will say, well, if he said, he's Jacob, I loved and Esau, I hate it. For, therefore, what are we to say? Why does God find fault? Yes, I know it says, we will, you will therefore say to me, why does God find fault? And you will say to me, well, how can he find us liable for anything if he has already did this and he already has done that? He hasn't already done anything. He does let you have limited choice, but you get to choose whether or not it's going to be him or you. You get to put yourself ahead of him if you want. And then he will disown you. And there you go. But I don't believe in God. Doesn't matter. Hold on. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you believe in him or not. He didn't ask you to believe in him. Go ahead. Go ahead and show me one scripture where he says you must believe in me. He didn't ask you to believe in him. That's your choice. 
he does allow you to choose that choice whether or not you want to believe that he exists. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in. The right to practice your beliefs, that's where they get it from the Constitution is because he gave you the right to believe in whatever you want. So if you choose not to believe in him, that's your choice. But there are consequences with that choice. Well, Whatever you say after that doesn't matter. You just, when the consequences occur, let's say if the consequences occur, remember, it was your choice. Okay? And that's one to grow on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I know, I know, I know, many of you got so many questions, things to say. Don't email me, please, because it's going to be blockage. I'm not trying to have that conversation. I was just letting you know where the song was leading to about this world, the disillusionment. People are so disillusioned because they, they've convinced themselves of things that are not realities. Our world is full of hatred. Oh, when I, when I did this so that you guys get this, some of you got it the moment I did it, okay? Where is it? It is, we would never allow the 7th divided by 10, October 7th, to ever happen again. Israel, what they're doing over in Palestine, that's what that was referring to. Now, I know some of you got it right away, but there are a lot of you who didn't understand the 7th divided by 10. Okay, has nothing to do with the word seventh divided or ten. Seventh of October, the division that it caused, the tenth month. We'll never let that happen again. Now, of course, things like that are going to happen again, but right after that, he's promised that it will never, ever happen again. Says when he steps in, it will never, ever, 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 ever throughout all eternity, happen again. Man can talk about their global warming and everything. Um, I was watching Alex Jones. This is the last thing I'm going to say. And they were talking about those laser-guided beams. And do you know that over the area of Texas, they actually have video. Now, again, I don't know if the video has been doctored or not because we have the deep fake, okay? Too much deep fakes out there. So I'm not going to focus on whether they've been doctored or not. I'm not going to examine them. I'm not going to, that's not my job. But I do find it highly suspicious the way these properties are burning. Because not all of these properties should be burnt completely to the ground. This fire burned with an extreme intensity. But here's the problem. Haven't you noticed they've been talking about the intensity of fire burning, but the materials that are being burned are not supposed to be burning at that intensity. Do you guys understand that? That wood burns at a certain temperature and metals burn at a certain temperature? Well, these fires are destroying everything, melting everything. The fires are so hot that they're melting metal. Something else is going on here. In Maui, in Texas, in Par uh, Paradise, California, something else is going on with these fires. Okay, I've heard of volcanoes, you know, the fires that come from volcanoes causing that type of damage, but these are regular fires. I've been living in California for the most part of my life, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm used to watching fires and watching the aftermath of fires in, in certain areas, especially when we have them in Southern California, the fires there, how one house is left standing. Well, here particularly, the houses with blue roofs are left standing. Wait, hold on. Everything else burns, but the, fire, the houses with blue roofs are left standing? How is that possible? How is that possible? Go ahead and do your research. Don't take my word for it. Then you know something else is going on. So you know that eventually somebody's going to have to step in and put a stop to it because it can't keep going on. Because if there is a God, and I, you heard me say it, if there is a God, he's not going to permit that to continue to go on. He's going to have to step in. Why? Because that's what he said his job is. Oh, sorry. There is one more thing I need to show y'all. And I'll show y'all the other pictures. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot. That, that's the reason I was supposed to start the video off with this. Man, I just got into talking and everything and talking about everything. Hoo-wee.
Uh, give me a second. We got to go to downloads. And when we go to downloads, we're going to do Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. That's my boy right there. That's my doggy. Jeff, that's him. That's my little doggy. That's Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. He is one year and one month old. I mean, one year and one week old. <laughs> so he's a year and a week old, okay? Jeff, 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 Jeff. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I have it wrong. Whew. I have it wrong. Jeff is 11 months, two weeks old. I'm sorry. I have it wrong. I have to get his, get to get his age right. That's Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. And he is, he is a very, he is exactly what he looks like. Curious, but he definitely is a protector. And so that's my little puppy. That's Jeff. And I'll show you Eve later, but that's Jeff. And that was the picture that the Humane Society took of the young man. So that's Jeff, everybody. Jeff, 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 Jeff. All right. Got to go. They tried to call him Griffin. I call him Griff. Griff, 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 Jeff, Griff, 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 Jeff, Griff, Griff. So he answers to both. Griff is his name. Jeff is his nickname. I call him both. He understands because to him, they sound the same. And we do that. Jeff is a nickname. Griff is the name that I say short for Griffin. I couldn't change his name because he was too old and they had been calling him that for, ooh, for quite a while. And I, I couldn't interfere with that. So this little puppy is okay. I, I do appreciate him. I'm watching him in the camera right now, uh, the two of them playing together. That's all day. They do that for hours. They literally, he doesn't hurt the dog. They're literally playing all day long. We call it playing, um, but I call it bonding for the two of them. So he protects the puppy. And, yeah, I don't think anybody will ever mess with that puppy for as long as that the two of them are alive because he won't allow it. And she is the boxer. She's going to be bigger than him when she grows up, but he's still going to be the protector. And that's why I did that. That's why I got one that's younger than him because I want him to be controlling. Even though she's eventually going to control him, I want him to be the one who has the final say-so. All right, why are you a male chauvinist? No, because when I got him, I didn't want to get a dog that was older than him because he was the most timid. I want him to have a purpose, and his purpose is going to be to protect his younger sister. All right, I. All right, y'all take care. Just wanted to show y'all Jeff so that y'all can see the puppy. I have to go. Take care, everyone.